Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It comes in 170 second scale and it's actually a BF109 E3 and as you can guess it is based on plastic which was developed together with Special Hobby and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as we ordered this kit from official Edward website and the box size is not that big so here you can see comparison with my hand we have really nice box art here and note that this kit is supplied as a profit pack so it means you'll get also all necessary um, combo bonuses which might be handy for a nice build so uh, i guess this will be the first release in a series of profit packs and weekend editions and here on the side you will find also some safety information and the kit number is by the way 7032 and on the opposite side you can see also six marking options which is quite nice for a 170 second scale kit and i hope that you will find something suitable for your build or maybe you will resort to aftermarket decals so this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside I would say packaging is quite standard for this brand, so we have all spruce packed into one plastic bag, we have also all the bonuses on the bottom of the box. So I would rather start with plastic parts first, and then gradually we move on to other things which are included here, so just give me a second. And as I said, this kit might be familiar to some of you, because it is based on special hobby release, which we also reviewed in the separate video, so in case you saw it, you will easily recognize what we are having today so first of all i'm opening the separate plastic bag with a clear sprue so here we have the canopy parts and i have to zoom in so that you can understand what i'm talking about these are the canopy parts for bf109 in e version and as you can see we have a separate middle section so it means that you will be able to open the canopy and it will actually help expose the cockpit and in case you would like to show all the features inside that's really useful feature and do not forget that we also get the p parts here so that's why it's something to consider because p parts obviously will go inside the aircraft so next we continue with this plastic sprue first of all i will show it uh, zoomed out so here we have mix of various parts for external and internal details we also have for example here a landing gear ox maybe i'll zoom in so that you can understand what i'm talking about so landing gear ox which are modded as a one piece parts note that we also get some parts for um, engine for example here you can see exhaust stacks and also these mounts engine mounts which are also used in the kit and as far as i remember here we actually get quite a nice copy of the db engine so it might be a good idea also to open the cooling but that's already something sophisticated so in case you do not have experience with such stuff it's better to think twice next we continue here with uh, three options for the propeller hub by the way cockpit four and next by the way the cockpit 4 is designed in a quite interesting way because here you can see that we have this traditional rear wall and the four molded separately and i'm quite used to see this uh let's say element molded as a single piece part but here we get it in this design here by the way you can also see some coding panels more of the engine parts so engine gear wheels two types of the air intakes and landing gear doors so molding quality is as good as what we saw in the initial release so there is nothing to complain about the only thing is that some parts are really tiny here you can see comparison with my finger so you have to use tweezers otherwise it's almost impossible to handle these parts and you will easily lose them in uh, let's say during the assembly process and especially if you have a carpet monster then it will be a nightmare next we continue with the second gray plastic sprue and the last one so here as you can guess we have the romanian parts and it means the fuselage halves wing panels one piece cooling by the way and also we have tail wings engine here in the middle and i guess again it's worth zooming in so that you can see what i'm talking about note that here we have quite nice external features this is 170 second scale kit but i think think it can rival some 148 scale releases because we have a lot of features out of the box of course it's also quite tender let's say thing so try not to overdo the paint and primer layers because it will be easy to lose all these features under the paint coats here by the way you can also notice that the wing air intakes are molded separately we saw them in the previous sprue and also we have the separate rudder 
which is also visible here. Next, we continue with engine parts. So engine should be glued out of two house. I'm not sure if we actually get the PE parts for this engine, but what I really like is the one piece coating, because this means that you shouldn't be worried about any unnecessary gaps and seams in this area. And you can easily remove this part and place back in case you would manage to make it uh, removable, let's say. And that might be handy for exposing the engine underneath. Next, we continue with traditional profit pack bonuses. So we have two Ziploc bags. I'm opening the first one here. And it actually includes the mask sheet. So here you can see it. And you can notice that we have masks not only for the canopy, but also for landing gear wheels, which is really nice. Next, we continue with the PE fret. It is pre-painted as far as you can see. And there are a lot of parts which are coming in, um, let's say, natural metal finish. So here you can take a closer look. And these unpainted parts actually hint that they will be used for external surfaces or maybe even for the engine. We will check it in the assembly manual, of course. And this is a traditional Edward product, so there is nothing to be worried about in terms of quality. It's just that, again, we have really small scale and it might be tricky for some models. So be sure to have the right tools for all this stuff. Next we continue with decals. So there are two decal sheets which is rather impressive for 172nd scale aircraft kit. And first of all I will show you the stencils. Here I think we should close the lenses a bit so that it won't be that dark for you. But you can see that stencils are printed in Edward. We have two types, black and red. So everything looks fine and I think it's just a matter of careful application. And printing quality is also good. But that's not all. We also get the main symbols for all of these six marking options. And here I think we should zoom out a bit because this one is a bit wider. So here we have even the swastikas included in a full scale. You can also combine them out of these symbols. So all the necessary decals are here. We even have some cockpit decals, but obviously it's better to use the P parts, which will provide you a bit more convincing appearance. But... Of course, we cannot assemble all of this stuff without the assembly manual. So this one is provided in form of color printed brochure. As you can see, it's a typical Edward format, so there is nothing surprising. We have short history note on the first page. And next we continue with the parts map. So here a blue color means that these parts will not be used in the assembly. As you can see, plenty of them will actually stay on the frames. And assembly process starts straight away with the cockpit and straight away we have to use the PE parts because for example these rudder pedals can be replaced with the PE parts and that might be actually a worthy upgrade because the original plastic parts obviously cannot rival in a thickness with metal parts. Next we continue with the instrument panel. Again we have several options but what is interesting here we get to decide whether we would like to have the open or closed coating. It will define the choice of parts as you can see for the closed we just get this simple version with the only barrels detailed outside. Next we assemble the engine and start working on the cockpit walls then we join everything together and here as you can see we have also these separate cooling panels and next we continue with the parts for air intakes and by the way I would like to check if we have some P parts used on the engine but as far as you can see nothing much so if you would like to replicate numbers you will have to use your own um, wires metal wires and other stuff so next we continue here with the wing mechanization all the parts are molded separately so it's quite a handy thing and then all this stuff gets connected together with the fuselage here you get also to decide whether you would like to have open or closed canopy landing gear gets installed we have masks application guide and here we start with marking options so these are typical i would say markings for german aircraft in an early years of world war ii as you can see they're coming from early 1940s and all of them are quite interesting because of this angular camouflage on the top of the wings and both aircrafts from 1940 this one is from september this one is from august and here we have the stencils application guide so all in all we get a really interesting release in a small scale and i think all fans of 172nd scale they will be happy to see it and it should be already available you can get it on official edward website 
Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will also ensure that you will get all the fresh video reviews in time. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and watching this video. Bye.